My name is Katina Griffin and I am a student at Dallas College. I am pursuing my Bachelor of Science degree in teaching in hopes to becoming a teacher. My goal is to become a pre-K or kindergarten teacher. So working with the little learners, three, four, five-year-old learners. The part that I really like about math is just your basic math. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and even fractions. I really like that because that's the base of math. And that's where we start when we start teaching our early learners. And I get so excited to be able to introduce them into the world of math and numbers. Now, the part I don't like about math is this, I found this out this week, is I do not like equations in a Cartesian coordinate system. I do not like graphs. I do not like functions of graphs. I do not like stretching. I do not like finding the x-intercept, the y-intercept, the slope-intercept. I don't like any of that. I am not very good at that. And to this day, back in 1984, when I took college algebra, why and when am I gonna use this in real life? That's still the question today. But at any rate, the topic that I am going to be teaching today is addition of whole numbers. That is just starting off learners with introducing them into math and introducing numbers into their world. And my audience today is gonna to be the pre-K students three-year-olds, four-year-olds, and maybe some five-year-olds, and just teaching them on the basic um, math principles, starting with addition of whole numbers. So we'll get started. So we're starting here with, um, starting with what addition is. Addition is adding together. That's putting together a set of numbers and finding out how many you have in all. Just like here, we have our two triangles. Oh, one other thing, the way we, um, the sign for addition is the plus sign, just like a lowercase s, little off sign. Just like a lowercase t is, or a cross, the plus sign. And we'll get started here. Just like we have our two triangles here. We have one triangle and we have another triangle. And we wanna add them together. So we have one plus one, and then we have what we call an equal sign, and that is the sum. So we wanna know how many we have when we put these together. We have one, two. So we have two triangles here. So we got our first addition question. And then let's say we wanna go just a little bit, a little bit harder. We have one, we have another set of triangles, we're gonna put our addition sign. We have one plus two triangles, one, two. And when we add them all together, we have one, two, three. Three is our total. Now, we can go on further with that, um, with triangles, but those are a little boring. So let's move over to maybe some animals. We have our elephants here. Now, we still have the one elephant here, and we wanna see how many we have total. So we have one, and then we'll count up. We have four on this side. So one, two, three, four, five. So our total is five. One plus four elephants, one elephant plus four is five. And then we can get a little tricky here. We don't only have more than one on this side with our little airplanes. We have four airplanes on this side. One, two, three, four. And we have three airplanes on this side. So I wonder how many we have all together. We have four here and we're gonna continue to count because we're gonna add them all together. Five, six, and seven. All right, so we have seven airplanes, four, plus three is seven. And then we can move on a little bit. While we have 
over here, we have one triangle plus three triangles. Over here, we have three horses plus one horse. And at any rate, it's called the associative uh, property, I believe, where even though you have one plus three, it's the same as three plus one. All of them together is four. But that's something you'll get to learn later on in your life. All right, now we looked at grouping things together, grouping things and then adding them together. That's one way of learning how to do addition. Another way is using our tens frame. Let's look at another method. Okay, I have some seashells here. And on here, we have an equation, three plus two. We want to know what three plus two equals. So in our 10 frame, which has 10 blocks here, we can go ahead and we can say, I'm going to make a sheet seashell. One, two, that's not a very good seashell. Three, and plus two seashells. Uh-oh, two. So we have one, two, three, and then we're gonna add two, one, two. All together, we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have five seashells. So three plus two is equal to five. Let's try one more on our tens frame. Oh, here's a good one. We have one plus five. So we'll go ahead and shade in one block on our tens frame, which represents our one. And then we have, we're gonna add five here. And I'm sorry, those seashells are not very pretty. One plus five, and we want to know what that equals. So we'll count them all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. That gives us six. So as you can know, there are several different ways that you can learn how to do addition of whole numbers. And hopefully your journey into math will be a good journey. And I wish you luck. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.